China's technology and innovation is leading the world. Let's go. Now I am at the company Elegoo uh, 3D Printers and I'm joined by Ryan here. Hello He's going to introduce Hi. the company to us. Hi, my name is Ryan Shao and thank you for joining us today, uh, Jason. So our company name is Elegoo. We are currently the uh, top selling 3D printer brand worldwide and we are more focused on LCD printer, which I also call resin printer. And currently the market has FDM and resin printer at the same time and we are the top one selling uh, in the LCD printer. And uh, what you will be... What is this here? Uh, this is a 3D printing Godzilla. So uh, oh, this is Godzilla. actually done by an FDM printer. And so this is very, um, I would say, eye-catching. Yeah, it has really good detail. Yes. So this is FDM. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so for people new to 3D printing, there's two types of printing. Uh, filament printing, FDM, mm -hmm. and resin printing. Mm -hmm. LCD printer. LCD. So if you're new to printing, what would you suggest be the first kind of 3D printer that you buy? Sure. So right now we are at our showroom where we can see both printers at the same time. So here we have our FDM printers. Uh -huh. So I would re recommend the first time users to use FDMs because they're easier to operate. This is our newest model and also our best selling model so far. It's called Neptune 4 Plus and the other one is Neptune for Max and they are six times faster in printing speed compared to our previous generation and it can print better details and it gives you better printing quality and also they are different in sizes depending on your printing needs if you need a larger model you can use the Neptune 4 Max and how much would one of these printers cost so uh, these printers are our Neptune series and the price range generally falls between 250 to 500 dollars. So over here is our best-selling resin printers and also our newest models. So in the middle you have our Mars 4 Ultra and next to it is our Saturn 3 Ultra. So they are using a 12K screen to give it better printing results and better details. And also right next to uh, Mars for Ultra is our curing machine because for resin printers you have to uh, finish the model by treating it with ultraviolet. So here is a curing machine to give the model higher durability and a better finish. And they are also uh, Wi-Fi connected so you don't have to use a cord or a wire to connect it. You can just use Wi-Fi connection to make it more convenient. And here we have the domestic marketing department. And can you tell me what's the difference between uh, the, the, the China 3D printing market mm -hmm. and the US market? Mm -hmm. Well, definitely uh, our business started with the US and European market at first. And now we are seeing a lot of new growth in the Chinese market. A lot of young people and especially the millennials are uh, following this new trend and they're so passionate about 3D printing. So that's why we're seeing a lot of growth and we're hiring more people to uh, create more growth. And over here we have the uh, branding department, the staff here. Uh, you can see one of the staff is just uh, Squeezing an egg here. <laughs> I'm stressed out. She's very stressed. Uh, let's just try and catch some of the staff on the websites that they shouldn't be checking. No, it looks like they're. It looks like they're all working. Oh, she's designing something. Writing something. Okay, I think the staff. They knew I was coming. They seem quite nervous that I'm right over their shoulders. So now, so here is our model studio. So uh, I would call it the behind the scene room where you see a lot of the models here. Um, wow, look at this. And so here we have a spider, spider woman. Um, and here we have some kind of uh, chicken. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Do you know what this uh, is? Well, I know the Chinese name is called Cai Ji, right? Um, 
vegetable chicken. <laughs> ah, yeah, it looks Just a very literal translation. Yeah, it looks like it's lettuce, like, lettuce yeah, but it's a like chicken. Yeah, it looks like lettuce, and it's very actually popular on the internet. I think mm -hmm. one of the most trendy objects. And or... here we have a huge sword. Um, do you know what what's this from? Uh, it's actually uh, from a game. From like uh, League of Legends. Yeah, something like that. What's the name of what's the name of oh, no. and, and this was this is printed uh, with resin. Yeah, it's printed with resin. In different parts, mm -hmm. but you can see the detail on that, um, and it, look, it just looks like a it looks like a real sword. Mm -hmm. it looks yeah. like a real thing. You can actually use it for battles. Yeah, I will. I will fight you. Yeah. <laughs> this is for Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Ah, I know that game, Elden Ring. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a difficult game. Uh, oh, and then we have Mario here. This one looks like uh, FDM. This was printed on the FDM, right? Yes, yes, because you can see the can texture is different. The, the texture is different. And so with the resin printers, you get slightly a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. You can see the detail here. Uh, this is uh, printed on a resin printer and then painted by the artist after. It's really impressive the uh, just the, the amount of detail that you can get on these kind of printers. Um, so here's the painting session. So basically you have to apply a primer first to provide uh, to prevent the colors from falling off later in the protective layer. So that's why you need to do the priming first. Now we've come to the factory and this is the warehouse, right? Yes, yeah, so here is our warehouse where we store the components and materials ready for production. And they are categorized by their types. For example, the lenses, the screens, the light bulbs, the uh, motherboard. So they're very clearly and efficiently managed by our system so you can see it's a very clean layout here and we have everything in order once they're ready for production they will be transferred up to the uh, upstairs facility where they can be assembled and ready for production and now we've come to the assembly line of the factory right yes here are our two assembly lines for our resin printers and so uh, we have skilled workers taking care of this part and we, as I just mentioned, uh, we transfer the components and materials from the warehouse to start making the printers. So here are just the different stages where you see the different assembly process. And, and which model is this? Uh, this is for the Mars series, Mars 4, uh, as you just saw in the other office. And, and here, uh, how, many, uh, how many units uh, of this? model is sold uh, uh, per I, year? I remember cumulatively we have close to 1 million units sold globally to uh, different markets across the world. So here is our quality assurance station. Elegoo is very committed to quality and want to make sure our customers are 100% satisfied with our product so right here you're seeing hundreds of units being tested at the same time and we want to make sure that every product is 100% guaranteed for their quality and uh, customers will be very happy with what they get and in terms of how we test the quality or what we are testing here uh, you can see an Eiffel Tower and a cylinder on this resin printer so uh, the Eiffel Tower is really for testing the details the sophistication and the texture of the printer uh, because as I said many times resin printer can show better details and better quality and the cylinder is for showing the high resolution and the smoothness of a resin printer where you can make sure you can maximize the details and you can get better printing results so for every single printer here uh, I'm sure they have been well tested and they're ready for shipment so uh, the guarantee the product the quality are in good hands and now we've come down to the showroom and you can see uh, some of the previous uh, models and generations and the new ones uh, so let's take a look around here here and I noticed this here it says best of Kickstarter is this an award 
Yeah, it's a uh, award-winning project on Kickstarter we did um, two years ago. It's uh, in 2021, and it has close to 6,000 backers and also uh, $5 million uh, grossing. Wow, five million. Five million dollars uh, grossing. So uh, it's currently the biggest resin printers available on the market on a consumer level. You can see so many of these uh, different models just showcasing what these amazing printers can print out. You know, I'm finding it hard to believe that you know they can print in this this much detail. How is that? How is that even possible? Look at this guy. It's scary. Oh, it's like a it's like a transformer Godzilla here. And here, uh, this doesn't look very 3D. What is this? Well, this Marilyn is actually, Monroe, right? Well, this is actually done by our brand new product that just launched this year. It's a laser engraver called Vecta. So uh, uh -huh. we want to give our users more creative tools to enrich their experience. And laser engraver. Yeah, laser engraver. So it's another type of a 3D printer. No, it's not a 3D printer, but it's a... Oh yeah, 3D. it's not 3D. <laughs> it's not 3D. It actually works on a 2D surface. Ah, it can be yeah. used for a wooden surface, leather wow. surface, metal surface, and plastic surface. It's... We just want to give our users more freedom and possibility when it comes to creative experience. It's very, uh, it looks very realistic. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like a like a picture, real picture. Like a yeah. real photo. And who is that? I should know. She's very famous, right? Liu Yifei. <laughs> She's a very famous Chinese know. actress, celebrity. <laughs> Okay, so that is the end of our journey here at uh, El Agu. I want to say a huge thanks to Ryan uh, Thank for giving you, us a tour today. Thank you, Jason, for visiting us today. And I hope you enjoy this journey. And this experience gives you a little bit more understanding about 3D printing. Thank yeah, you. I've learned a lot today. Uh, and if you guys are interested in this also, I uh, highly recommend El Agu. Go and check it out. Uh, and so we will see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.